Well, here we're back again with the email M3i. I've got a request from Dingo Nates or Nates, and uh, regarding how a uh, reversing stop uh, part works on the meter. So I'm uh, going to take the nameplate off if I can, and I'll see if I can get the register out of mesh. And uh, we'll try to do a reverse direction on this device. I'll just hold the video here. Okay, I've loosened the screws. I'll get the register out. And there we go. Well, this is a bit sticky, this one, but I'll sort it out. Well, I fixed that a bit of WD 40 or Enox, and uh, the reverse running stop is now working smoothly. Try to get a closer shot and then I'll reverse the rotation of the disc. Well, I'll do that first while we're talking. Um, let's get the angle a bit different. Stand by. Okay, I'm running forwards now in normal position, but say somebody decided to generate back into the grid or something went wrong, I'll swap the polarity and you'll see the meter will halt itself straight away. I'll put it back in the correct rotation and the meter advances. So it's basically a reverse stopping device, or reverse arrestor. Just keep an eye on the disc and I'll swap the phasing quickly. And the meter goes backwards and there it goes, it stops. Back to normal position. And that particular device is marked on the disc as the little star wheel with a ratchet. I'll show you here. This little star, little wheel here in the bottom part of the nameplate. That means it's a reverse running stop. There's all different designs on these, but um, the basic principle is the same. I've got an electronic meter too, and I'll show you how that works. So it just does the forward, backwards, click. It imposes more or less no burden on the disc, so it's not a problem accuracy wise. There we go, so that's the last shot on this device, and then uh, I'll show you on an electronic meter. Well, here we have an electronic Iton meter that's got the same symbol on here, reverse running stop. It's pulsing. Uh, this one doesn't, because I had a look at it. So if I change the polarity, the meter will just stop working, not going backwards. And um, when the polarity is normal again, or the current is restored to normal, then uh, the meter will advance by itself. So yeah, nothing in particular special here. Well, then the normal uh, dial test check meter, you see going forward, hasn't got a reverse running stop, so I'll change the polarity. The meter will run the other way happily, so the numbers will count backwards. So if you have like solar panel or your generator or you're putting something back in the grid through inverters, uh, your meter will go backwards and now these days utilities put like uh, two or four quadrant metering in with electronic meters so you can get actually uh, paid for the power you put back in the grid um, or you can put two meters back to back as well which is done sometimes one meter meets uh, measures one way and the other one measures the other way so yeah see, I'll show it one more time swap the polarity and then we we'll go back and the meters are going backwards here while the other meters have stopped so yeah that's about it on this so I uh, hope you learned something from it and uh, that's why we have these forums here we can uh, discuss Metering issues, quite interesting topics anyway, cheers. Well here we got a polyphase meter and to go back to the reverse running stop that has an alarm light which you will probably see glowing up here with an R for reverse so I'll swap the polarity over and that comes red straight away more or less. So some meters do have an alarm indicator to tell you that uh, a reverse flow has occurred. Uh, Full electronic meters will raise an alarm as well to the retailer for security purposes. We'll demonstrate it one more time here for a close up. This particular meter runs on uh, single phase, but uh, I'll wire the phases up in series in this particular setup. Thanks for watching.